What's up, family? It's your ghetto news reporter, Mary Dash, Twenty Mary and Lee. Today is sinful Sunday in my city, Chicago. Five fifty-seven a.m. January the thirtieth. 2022, so they say. That's what they say. Um, let's talk about false prophets and, you know, the church being uh, inhabited with people either getting their lives together or acting like they're getting their lives together. You know, they said a uh, um, house divided cannot stand. And I believe we're living in a day and times where people are indecisive as to who and what they really want to be in life. You know, good, bad, both, you know, they straddling the fence. And um, that's not good, because I come from behind and get mine. Now it is 5.59. Now everybody knows, this is your ghetto news reporter, Mary Dash, between Mary Lee, an originator of rap music since the age of eight in 1975. I was also in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper at the age of six in 1973 for standing up for myself, because... I was, and somewhat still is, you know, a child abuse victim. You know, they always come back for the ones who get away. See, if you don't go along to get along or whatever and stuff, get along to go along or whatever you want to call it, with their scheme of things, you know, they tend to ride your coattail and uh, still kill and destroy everything you worked your ass off for. It is now 6 o'clock a.m. in my city, Chicago, January the 30th, 2022, so they say. Now, the reason why I say so they say, because they say a lot of things. And it's different time zones in different areas. They call California, some places, you know, Death Valley. Why is that? And it's a different time zone, you know, in California. Now, I've been trying all my life to, you know, profit off of my blood, sweat, and tears to the point where I could at least, you know, maintain a, a, a decent living where I won't have to be at this trap building. 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Apartment 308. Now, let's talk about Snoop Dogg for a minute. There's a few Snoops out there. So, you know, I'm not going to just put it all on him. But he's the main influence for, I believe, the other two that is relevant. Like the uh, the girl, Snoop, that played in The Wire. And this uh, rapper by the name of Lil Snoop. Uh, that Meek Mills, some people say sacrifice. You understand what I'm saying? Because the little guy, he was good, but he's no longer... Allegedly, you understand what I'm saying? Alive. All of this is pretty much allegedly. You understand what I'm saying? For the most part. If you know, you know. You don't, you don't. Now, figure it out. Now, but Snoop, though, he knows better. You know. Everybody knows Snoop wasn't a real crip or game banger. You know, he just got kind of caught up, I think. You know, you know, when you're young, you... Be involved in little everything or whatever, I guess. I don't know his story, you know, verbatim. You know, I'm not here to really figure him out. I'm here to basically let you know how, you know, somebody once told me I'm not one of them. You know, after they made me homeless and I needed shelter in my city, Chicago. And so somebody, my higher power, directed me to 
Mercy Hospital. I believe they're trying to, you know, take the hospital down on King Drive because the name is no longer, you know, when you drive by, you can see the name is no longer up. And I was in a private room at the time, you know, they allowed me to come in and see I, how I react, I guess. And I was in a private room and this white nurse brought this young girl into the room while I was asleep. And the girl started kissing on me. Now, at the time, even though I was homeless, I was still in a relationship with a so-called Jehovah Witness. But we were just kind of like, you know, weekend, you know, fuck buddies, if you want to just, you know, be honest or whatever. Um, so, you know, when the girl kissed me, I rejected the kiss. And, you know, I said, what is going on? And the white lady was like, the nurse was like, you got to go. You're not one of us. I couldn't understand that. It's supposed to be a professional business, you know, you know, occupation. You're supposed to take care of the sick and all that and shut in. So I was like, well, just give me my money because, you know, I had to inventory the things that I had. And, you know, I had a few dollars or whatever and stuff. It wasn't much, but it was, you know, it was mine. And, you know, they gave me my money and I left and I was homeless again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. You know, they always get you when you're sick, homeless, dying. If you listen to uh, Snoop's song, you know, Murder Was the Case that they gave me, you will know that, you know, he was in a sticky situation and he'd been caught up ever since. See, a lot of people got caught up and didn't know how to get out of it or became familiar with their, you know, oppression. And, you know, God give everybody a second chance and... Sometimes a third chance and, and a last chance, if you want to call it that. You know what I'm saying? This chance. Um, you know, they said Snoop came out with a gospel album in 2018 for the Super Bowls or something like that. I listened to one of his songs. He's pretty good. He's even, you know, trying to sing and things of that nature. And he had some other guy, long hair, you know, looking like a pimp, you know, you know. You know, like Snoop used to look with his long hair. Now he has a receding hairline. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe he probably would have been a... He probably was a little bit jealous of uh, Nipsey Hussle because he kind of looked like Snoop, act like Snoop. And, you know, when you get older, people start looking at themselves in the mirror. Next thing you know, you know, they finna some kind of way with the young people coming up or whatever and stuff. Now, that's not my case. I been knew that would be the case, though. In 1995, when I was listening to uh, Helen Baylor's song, you know, uh, lifting up the name of Jesus. And then she has a part that says, uh, looking in the mirror, wondering where your beauty lasts. You understand what I'm saying? See, the devil tells you in the beginning when you're cute and all that, you know, and you marketable, you know, I could do this, that, and the third for you. But, you know, the devil also knows you're going to get older and, you know, and. What do they say? Beauty for ashes. And I believe that's why my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, was around me at the time. You know, when I didn't even, you know, expect her to come around. Because I was making money and I was kind of cute. You understand what I'm saying? And if I take this hat off, you will see that I am not as cute as I am with the hat on. Because people are study coming at me, trying to disfigure me, trying to, you know make me look as ugly as they feel probably on the inside. Even though you have money, that don't make you feel good on the inside. Some people have everything they want and still miserable. And then you have some people who don't have much and happy as a log, you understand what I'm saying? Or happiest person on earth for themselves. And people hate to see you happy. And that's what it was when I was a part of uh, Alcoholics Anonymous at my um, home group, they used to be open, you know, all the time when they needed me. You know, I got there like in 1996, and I stayed all the way up until 2008, May 31st, 2008. And then I got railroaded for a so-called disarming the police officer on Devon and Clark, something I did not do. Why? Because I was giving my book and my truths, my life experience, you know, to the public in a book I wrote, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song for free. And you know what else? I was on my way to a gospel fest to see Ranch Allen. You understand what I'm saying? 
real so. Uh, something about the name of Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? They said he has passed on, but Snoop Dogg did a song with him. You know, and I couldn't understand how did I end up going to jail and prison for going to a gospel fest, and now Snoop is wearing a robe with my birthday, 525, on it. You understand what I'm saying? You just got to feel it. Long story short, you know, I went to the county jail for something I did not do and ended up going to prison. But before I went to prison, I met this girl by the name of Kim. She was light-skinned, you know. And I was vulnerable going through a whole lot of stuff. And I still had a lot of sexual demons in me and stuff like that. I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, you know, you know, to this day or whatever and stuff. I haven't smoked a cigarette since um, May 25th, my birthday of 2000. And I haven't, you know, drink drugs or smoke. You understand what I'm saying? Since December 25th, 1997. Now, I'm not saying they haven't put drugs in my food or whatever the case may be. That don't count. Long story short, I met this girl at the county jail by the name of Kim. She was light-skinned and we called herself liking each other or whatever. You know, I'm vulnerable and stuff at the time. You know, I'm needing a friend, really. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, do whatever to survive. And, you know, she showed me pictures of Snoop Dog, for real. The real Snoop. And... You know, she knew him and whatever and stuff. But in AA, they kept saying, when my hair was long, you know, and I had two ponytails, you look like Snoop, you look like Snoop. I, you know, I wasn't trying to look like Snoop. I was just, I'm a girl. You understand what I'm saying? I suppose I have long hair, but, you know, they didn't want that because, you know, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, you know, and look out for the ones who may be a threat to them and stuff because, you know, they're trying to stay relevant. They got money, property, and prestige, right? You understand what I'm saying? They got to pay for and, you know, if they see you coming up, then you, me being me, the originator of rap music and a problem because, you know, they know I've been violated by five guys as a little girl. You know, everybody came up off that with five guy restaurants, you know, but I haven't yet to come up off myself. You know, not a new car, not a day at the spa, nothing, just enough to get by until this fucking story. Now, you know, me and Kim, we, we used to talk through the, um, through the vents, at the Cook County Jail, all kind of stupid shit. You understand what I'm saying? Long story short, of course it didn't work out or whatever and stuff, but I hope she's doing okay. Uh, Snoop, I got to break these goddamn balls and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's what I do and flip the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? He got a song I put with this that kind of is relevant for the, for the day, I guess. You know what I mean? Let's see what happens. All right, we got the white ball. We got the 14. We got the color purple. You add it together. You know, Oprah Winfrey, you understand what I'm saying, came out with the movie The Color Purple. Yesterday was her birthday. Shout out to Oprah. You understand what I'm saying? January the 29th. Um, but I gave Oprah my story at the age of 17. And then the movie The Color Purple came out. See, they trolling. That's what they doing. They trolling. You understand what I'm saying? The movie came out when I was 18. You know what I'm saying? In 1985. So you saw The Color Purple, which is the four. You know, and Money Mississippi was this, you know, the 14 or whatever and stuff. And Emmett Till supposedly had died. In Money, Mississippi, because he whistled at a white lady. See, people still got that fear of the white man or whatever and stuff. And, you know, you get caught up and God try to get you out of situations and you don't want to get out for some reason. You know what I'm saying? You're doing everything to stay in. But when it's time to get out, you can't even stand up. And y'all supposed to be game bangers, right? Come on now. How many times I got to warn you? All right, here you go. Now, this is, it says the Acts 4, chapter 4. Don't forget the color purple now. And over here, chapter 5, but it said the Acts. You understand what I'm saying? See, the Acts. A lot of people are acting. You switch act around, you got cats. Cat daddy. You understand what I'm saying? And this on page 8. Okay, eight eight ninety eight. Gotta go.